Hey guys, yo, what is up? Welcome to Jump Inside Media News, where today we're going to be checking out all the films, TV shows, movies that we like that are in the media and that have been announced and we are looking forward to them. So let's get started. Marvel Studio Echo, all episodes streaming on Hulu and Disney Plus January the 10th, 2024. So Marvel is doing a beat them up series, which could be quite brutal. Uh, I say that it is Marvel on this side. So keep in mind that Marvel probably won't go overboard. They won't be doing certain things. It's still got to remain as a watchable series for people that are fans of the Marvel superhero comics and the fans of the superhero series and movies to watch this. Um, which is kind of weird because like, okay, if, if you're a person that likes to watch every single one of these things, is going the brutal path for a series a really good way to do things? And when it goes brutal, it doesn't really tell us how brutal it is. We've seen a few clips in the trailer, but are those just trailer footage? Are they going to tone it down a little bit? I mean, it's Marvel we're talking about and it's also Disney. So could they tone it down or are they going to try and push it? Go a little bit over the top and see exactly what the audience reaction will be like. For me, I hope they don't go too far because if they go too far, is that just going to break uh, the ability for people to actually want to watch and enjoy it? Because we don't watch, I mean, for me personally, I don't watch Marvel to uh see all that brutal it's the character growth for me and you don't need all that super brutal stuff to be good at character growth and you know and let's you know you know you can add a bit of fun to it but let's just see where this series pans out anyway there you go echo is coming and it's coming to hulu and disney plus so hopefully that'll be good We'll see how that plays out. Anyway, moving on to the next piece of media news. Jack Black returns to his role as Poe in Kung Fu Panda 4, releases in theatres around March the 29th, 2024. I was actually quite surprised about this one. I thought number three was going to be the end all and be all of the whole series. But no, Jack Black is coming back again for another round of Kung Fu Panda. So yeah, tell me what you think about that. But yeah, um, I kind of love the movie. I think Jack Black is an amazing comedian. He's actually quite funny. He's quite chill to watch. And he's getting into a lot of these animations with uh, Mario and with this Kung Fu Panda thing. He seems to be a very good voice actor. So you know what? I really want to see, you know, how far, you know, of all his stuff that he does. I want to see him push that and just see what other movies that he's going to be in. So... You know, hopefully it's all good, and I have no doubt that it's going to be excellent. Um, but is Kung Fu Panda going on too much now? Do they really need a fourth movie? Could they go up to like six movies? Are they going to make a six movie long Kung Fu Panda? Could it go on forever? I have no idea. But anyway, there you go. That's Kung Fu Panda 4 coming out. It's coming out quite soon. And if you haven't watched the trailer, go check it out. It seems really good. And it does seem like a climatic beal and end all of the Kung Fu Panda series. So there you go. Um, moving on to the next piece of media news. The game series Fallout is coming as a series for Amazon Prime Videos and is an upcoming American post-apocalyptic drama starring Ella Pinal as the young vault dweller protagonist. And the series is coming out around April 2024. Now, I will give you a warning. If you haven't seen the trailer, uh, viewer discretion definitely for this one because I watched it and I was like okay they go to some places that I didn't think that they would and they went there um, whether it's good um, really defines on what happens when it comes out there wasn't a lot of story context into it it was very much about you see the main character you see them leave the vault and uh you know and you see some of the stuff they bump into um it's quite gruesome in some areas which is definitely a fallout thing but yeah they they try to keep it as fallout as possible and i think they do a very good job of it whether or not it's going to be a success to me it kind of feels like 
the Halo series or maybe the Assassin's Creed movie. I think the Assassin's Creed movie is still the best. Could this beat it? I don't know. I don't think so, you know, because Assassin's Creed has always been like a massively big thing. Fallout has been a big thing, but it doesn't come out every single year. So I can see why loads of people would have gone to an Assassin's Creed movie. Whether you go to this movie depends if you're kind of like that Fallout fan. Are you going to be a Fallout fan gamer and want to go see a movie? That is completely up to you. But yeah, of course. Is it going to be a good series? We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, I hope it's good. Uh, is it going to uphold? We'll find out. On the good side, it's on Amazon Prime, so I am going to have access to it. And hopefully if you've got Amazon Prime, you'll also have access to it. So there you go. Anyway, moving on to the last piece of news. And finally, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire brings Kong and Godzilla back into theatres April 2024. So yes, let's take a look at this. This is Godzilla x Kong and it's the new empire. And I absolutely love the look of this trailer. It's completely crazy and I love a bit of crazy. So I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, I think the fact is that, that this is now turning into a series and the fact that this is also called the new empire they aren't gonna slow down i've only seen like one or two of these and i'm super excited to see how far they actually expand this so i'm really really happy for this whole series just to blow out of proportion and to go down places i wouldn't imagine that this would go down but i'm really happy that we've now got quite a few king kong and godzilla movies and they are now combining and and they are basically going to expand this into loads of brand new areas. So yeah, there you go. That is King Kong and Godzilla right there. So those are some movies for you to check out if you haven't seen them. Uh, the trailers are available. We'll put the trailers in the links down below if you want to go watch them. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on another Jump Inside video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again. Goodbye.